Hi Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to begin this lesson by giving all praises and all glory to Yahweh. Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham Racha Kodesh. And I'd also like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who stem from one West. <laughs> Alright, that rule well. Yeah, they do rule well, and it's it's not a coincidence that you all these men on the in the world saying these men rule well. If they weren't ruling well, they wouldn't say it. But the men are ruling well. Understand? I'm trying to give double honors to the men, all right? The apostles, the elders, and also. Salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the globe, pushing this word out in sincerity and in truth. And this is the brother Amma one from the Great Millstone Camp in Trinidad, coming back to do another lesson through the Holy Spirit and power of Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai. Hopefully, be, hopefully, it is edifying to the elect, not to the wicked, to the elect, to the righteous. Yeah. So we see on your screen there. We see on the screen is and this is what I've been seeing in my videos. There yeah, are a lot of house Negroes, bro. A lot who would kill for Esau, they still exist. I'm gonna play a video there real quick. understand this you have to go back to what young brother here referred to as the house negro and the field negro back during slavery there was two kind of slaves there was the house negro and the field negro the house negro they lived in the house with master they dressed pretty good they ate good because they ate his food what he left <laughs> they lived in the attic or the basement but still they lived near their master. And they loved their master more than the master loved himself. They would, they would give their life to save their master's house quicker than the master would. The house negro, if the master said, we got a good house here, the house negro said, yeah, we got a good house here. <laughs> Whenever the master said we, he said we. That's how you can tell a house negro. <laughs> if the master's if the master's house caught on fire, the house negro would fight harder to put the blaze out than the master would. If the master got sick, the house negro would say, what's the matter, boss? We sick. We sick. <laughs> he identified himself with his master more than his master identified with himself. And if you came to the house negro and said, Let's run away. Let's escape. Let's separate. That house Negro would look at you and say, Man, you crazy. What you mean separate? Where is there a better house than this? Where can I wear better clothes than this? Where can I eat better food than this? That was that house Negro. In those days, he was called a house nigger. And that's what we call him today because we still got some house niggers running around here. So if you hear what Malcolm X just said. <laughs> Nations 
real so Malcolm X just said, um, you feel Negro would ultimately be opposite to that, right? Man oh, yeah, so the way. Oh, Dad, you taking it too far. That's just one brother, you know. He, he maybe he's just extreme. Oh, yeah, okay. no, well, no, this group right here, they'll be a little bit more organized. We'll get to in a second, but look what they did in the city of Detroit. Oh, yeah. Season changing, we go harder. There's a young man on the stage here. This young man. He perfectly fits the description Malcolm X just gave off. And there are millions of them. Millions. Who would fight for the master. Who wouldn't just fight for the master who would kill? You understand what I'm saying? They wouldn't just fight for the master, bro. They would kill for him. This is one here. And why he would get on like that? Because he loves the American way. He loves the American life. I show he agrees with the rainbow people um, to add to that if he if he's so fighting for this this world that we live in he ultimately would have to agree with the murders being committed by Jake on so called black people and so called black people he would have to agree with the wicked entertainment system that has been funded by small hats or who we call small hats upon our people to push a certain narrative and for our people to live a certain life he would also agree with that because if he come in to tell me he don't agree with that but we are disagreeing with what is being said by the so-called I really would say black Hebrew Israelites. What we just call yourself Hebrew Israelites. Um You fucking lying, straight up you're lying. Right? Because you you cannot disagree with us and disagree with Esau. You don't you have two ways, the Lord never created good half um average good half good um good three quarter good half good quarter good and evil you all never did that Yahweh Basham Yahusha never did that never created good quarter good right Good quarter, good half, good and evil. <laughs> when the Lord make that, the Lord never make that. Anyways, I don't I don't need to play. Maybe, maybe what he had to say making no really making no fucking sense. You see these men and them, they love the master. I they love him because you see, Omar oh I just say the feel Negro is the complete opposite to them. And this is what the Bible 
right? The scriptures. This is why this do it does put you in the mindset of detaching from the clutches of the so-called white man, from the clutches of this world. Coming out of idolatry. Because I am pretty sure this guy worships Christ. Pretty sure. He worships Christ. And look this precept here right here. This is John 7 to the It says, He that believeth on me as the scripture hath said. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of come on. Living water. Out of his belly going and flow rivers of what kind of water? Dead water, stagnant water. Let me break that down. Let me break that down. What is your belly? You know, you're dealing with a belief system. A belief system does deal with your, with your mind. You believe in your, in your brain. You don't believe with your leg and your hand and your, and, and your chest. You believe with your brain. Your mind. That is, we believe lies in your mind. You could get a cut on your hand. You understand? Know, you could get a cut on your foot. Belief to be there. Belief does be in your head. Alright? So now this has to be dealing with your brain. You believe in your mind as the scriptures say on your house, shy out of your belly, which is your mind also, because the scriptures, your house, shy is the scriptures, and you are to eat your house, shy and you are to drink your house, shy. He's also the Passover, right. Just like the scripture say. So, so that is a belly. That is a that is a belly. For spiritual food, your mind, which you're being constantly fed in this ministry, constantly. It do, the feeding don't stop. As King David say, the one on just my head with oil, what? Psalm the twenty third chapter. My cup run it over. The feeding don't stop. It don't stop. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of what? Living water. Not 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 a little pipe. It's a rivers of living water. But first you have to what? Believe on the scriptures. Believe on your Hawashai as the scripture had said. Not as you put in your mind. Because if you're doing it like that, your mind wouldn't flow out these living waters. So you have to go according to scripture. And according to scripture, our Lord, his name was not Jesus Christ. And I am pretty sure that this guy believes on Jesus Christ. He don't do no research into his belief. He don't go extensively deep into finding out the truth. You know why? You know why? Because Massa, right, is Lord, is the governor of his life, Edom, who gave him his belief, Christianity, who gave him his, the name to call on Jesus, tell him that we are his enemies so he's going with that and he don't want to hear nothing else because 
He loves Massa more than he even loves himself. House Negro. House nigga. And that is, where he, that is where he is. So if Massa say to love the rainbow people, he would eventually have no problem with that. You would have no problem with that. You know why? Because Massa said it. So if Massa said it, it have to be true. But that is why the Apostle Peter, Acts 5.27, it says, And when they had brought them, they set them before the council, and the high priest asked them, saying, Did not we straightly command you that you should not teach in this name? And behold, you have filled Jerusalem. What name is that? You, you jakes are scared. You're running scared. We don't fear, bro. We do not fear. Alright? Fearlessness is in our nature. Why? Because we are the sons of Yahweh. Sons of Jacob. Sons of Yahweh. Basham, Yahweh Shai. Sons of Jacob. We do not fear Esau. Because Esau is nobody to fear. He's always a little punk. And you know he's a punk. Is he up to now we can make a move on me? Is he a punk? Why he make a move? <clears throat> Revelation 12 12. Why ain't speed it up? Come now. You need tiptoeing around. Who we have behind us is Dreader. And who they have They are Satan And Satan is work For who we have behind us Which is Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai He's behind us He's before us <coughs> He's behind us He's before us He's before us And behind us He encompasses us About So Therefore we can never lose bro And this is what these men and them frightened for they frightened they even say a word about me so they remember in them whips from slavery fuck them whips from slavery them whips from slavery from slavery never do nothing them whips from slavery ain't do nothing to deter me from serving the true and heaven true and heavenly power the hawa by shami i was shy he says Um, yeah, this is what they said. They said, saying, Did we not straightly command you that you should not teach in this name? Which is, which is Yahweh Shai. <laughs> not Jesus. And behold, you have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine and intend to bring this man's blood upon us. And why I say Yahweh Shai? Because in Acts 4 and 12. Acts 4 and 12 say, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. So, it had to have a specific name, a name that is bring salvation to men. <coughs> is what Peter said, verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai rather than men straight up because man is not our God tell you that in the book of Isaiah chapter 33 31 Salakia <laughs> and <three. coughs> It says now the Egyptians are men and not the most high and not power. This is why you ought to obey the most high rather than men. And their horses flesh. Their horses flesh. Where's their horses? The horses were going to the things that they acquire on earth, like the power, the strength, 
Where is the strength? You start with the armies, the military, the freaking um, vehicles, the military vehicles like the tankers, like the like the fighter jets, right? Like the uh, the the suits with the suits for the make to to withstand bullets and all of these things, bulletproof suits. They is flesh, bro. Meaning, they could get hurt. <laughs> they could get destroyed. They could get damaged. Cause flesh does get damaged. This flesh could this flesh eventually that I am in. If when, Lord forbid, we hear. Uh, yeah, I was shining me too. Um, and we still and we doing the work and I yet should, my time come. Alright, because the goal is for your ha- your how shall I to return. Yeah, alright. That is the goal, and this is what we have to do the work until. We hoping for now, always, always now, that the Lord return today. If the Lord return today, we free. As we man come to deliver us from captivity, but if we. If the Lord say, if if the Lord, whenever He returns, we waiting, right? We we have to be waiting. You can't give up. You have to wait until He come. Wait ye upon me. Wait. You have to be patient, patient and long suffering. So you don't set a you don't set a time in your mind that if He come in ten, if He come in ten years. And if you come in 20, I go on. Nah. Set a, you just set a timer. So, what I was saying is, eventually, this flesh that I'm in would be destroyed if our Lord in return and my time come to go back into the spiritual realm. So, when I say the horse's flesh, the power. And the, the the main power is the military, the nuclear bombs, all these things. Them things could be destroyed. And nobody could ever destroy our spirit. It says, and not spirit. Who could destroy our spirit? What human on earth have the power to destroy the spirit? This is the riches Esau cannot tap into. Which he would like to tap into, but he cannot tap into it. Because Yahweh Basham Yahushai never gave him the power to do such. It says when Yahweh Basham Yahushai shall stretch out his hand, both he that helpeth shall fall. Who helpeth? The Edomite. They go and fall. Like when the Lord stretch out his hand. And he that is hoping shall fall long, and they shall all fail together. And he that is hoping. And who is, you know who is hoping? He, I like this, 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 um, that Jake, who was doing the talking. Yeah, the word hoping comes from the Hebrew word, I, 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 za, right? It says, to help, to succor, to support. He that is supported. So the one who helping and the one who is supported going and fall. The one who helping is Esau. What is that? Like Deuteronomy 28, 48. Um, Revelation chapter 12 and verse 6. And verse 6 and verse 13, somebody. I believe it didn't have a cook too, if I'm mistaken. Alright. They, 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 they fled into the wilderness. We had a place prepared, let me get that. Deuteronomy. Twenty-eight. 
Oi. And for it says, therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which Yahweh Shamir Shai shall send thee against thee in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. Yeah, that is would hope him, but he that help it. The one who helping is the enemies. And the ones who hoping is the servants to the enemies. And you Israelites have become servants to your enemies. And you start to like it. Alright? You start to like it. You're serving him in hunger. Because he's feeding you. Alright? Now I have a cook I mean to say was um who's there the first chapter and the tenth verse. He feeding you. And in thirst, he quenching your thirst. And in nakedness, he clothing you. And in want of all things, everything that you have, your, your transportation, right? Everything that you have, your jobs, your, your wives, the woman that, that you're dealing, that you're dealing with, he saw teach you to. <coughs> Excuse me. In one of all things. Everything that you need, your electricity, your, your phone, your TV, all these things, you're serving Esau for. And all you're serving them for, yeah spiritual food as well and that is why you giving all your Christ he says and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have helped thee no it didn't say until he help you until he have destroyed you you fucking ass your enemy would never help you who oh, these niggas dumb so right to go right man is your enemy right there is your enemy right the scripture never say you vampire your guy until upon your neck until he have helped you. You know it's to destroy you. You feeling that we do our enemies outside here. You idiot. Why the Lord will deal with none of all your way. You know why? Because all you hate the most I you telling all your way. You love you so. You love the praise of men rather than the praises of the most I and all your way. Oh, fucking dear, you. It was always there by your little that kind of st- <coughs> stand to get mad by the that kind of mentality was always fucking there in Israel by you. You know what? You know what? The Lord will take it away. Because the Lord will destroy all of you. Alright? <coughs> How's the other one on things? Yet yeah, the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. Which cannot be measured, no number, and it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people. In that same place where it was said unto Israel, Ye are not my people. What would be taught to Israel there? They is not my people. What is? If I take, if I, if, if, who would, who would tell Israel there is not the Lord people? Wouldn't that enemy do that? And yeah, was I say an enemy had done this with the wheat and the tears? Eh? Wouldn't that enemy do that? Tell the people are God or let's not the people are God. Because that would be the people are God's strength. The knowledge of being the people of the most high, how about Shami Awashai, that would be their strength if they went into captivity with our knowledge. That they are the people of the most high. Then they would have a different perception of themselves. But because they were being told, as according to the scripture, it was said unto them, Ye are not my people. In a certain place, then what would event what would replace that information? Not a lie that you are a Negro, that you a Native American Indian, that you are a Latino, that you is a black man. 
that you is a Apache Indian, right? That is what would replace it. And they would come up with a new form of doctrine to back it up. They come from Africa. And you, you come from some, I know how this, what they say about the natives in general, I don't know. But, but you, you come from Africa. Yeah, from Zulu and all of them that are fucking bullshit. Because why it was being said unto them, you are not my people, it says and he is not my, that what it, that what he said. And he is not he is not the Lord's people so you can't eat. The best are the best foods. You have to wear on old clothes, bust up clothes. <coughs> so when you're enemies in want of all things and it extends unto today as well. It says there it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living power. Right? Yeah, the sons are the living power. Oh, let me get another precept here. Book of Revelation, chapter 12, and verse 6. It says, And the woman fled into the wilderness. The woman is Israel, where she had a place prepared of God. That place prepared is the same place. Where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, that they should feed her there. A thousand two hundred and three score days. Feed her. Feed her there. Alright? A thousand two hundred and three score days. A thousand two hundred and three square days in in years time would not up to three hundred and fifty years. Not three hundred and fifty years, three and a half years. And three and a half years. One year is a hundred spiritually when you break it down. So that's one year, two one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, and then the half is fifty. So we are talking about this is, this is how we break it down, which is the correct way to break it down. The all the, the, the heights of slavery sixteen twenty to nineteen seventy when this doctrine come on the earth. Three hundred and fifty years. And in the seventies Abba Bevins was on those street corners teaching this word. Feeding us spiritually with the truth which is what we need alright that is what we need that is, that is the that is the um, nourishment we are again fill up with the wisdom knowledge and understanding I have a basham I have shy so that out of our belly which is our mind will flow what rivers of living water so we no longer stain upon him that smote the John scripture say that but there are those Israelites who still want to stay upon him that smote them. Isaiah 20 and 10, wait. No, 10 and 20, wait. It says, Isaiah chapter 10, verse 20, it says, And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but they shall stay upon Yahweh by Hashem, Shai, the Holy One of Israel in truth. The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty power. For though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant shall return. The consumption decree shall overflow with righteousness. So it don't matter what you, it don't matter what you say, young man. Him. Young man. I don't know why this thing is so rude. I know. 
y'all see the problem? Do y'all see the problem? Honestly, Seriously. do not know. But you had two thousand. Ain't black ain't nothing. Yeah, we see them pairs we come to see it and to it. <laughs> Prince of the power of the air. Baker, look him up for yourself. Contenders Conference Desmond Ingram. Who are the black Hebrew Israelites? Something like that. I believe that, he, that he's um yeah, who are the black Hebrew Israelites? Still calling us black with disrespect. Say what? Well, how much time we tell them yeah. hey, we aren't black. Also Native American song, some Native uh, Native What we go do? Them serving his son. So you understand? So with that, you know, I give all praises and all glory to you. How about Shami I was shy? Basham, Racha, Kodash, Double and the Apostles, and Elders of Great Melstone at Rule Well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. Hopefully, we'll be edified until the next time. Say shalom to the elect.